five dog buying mistakes like dogs good love dogs great ever bought a dog and been responsible for every moment of its life no then avoid these common dog buying mistakes and get the right dog on the first try number 5 at number 5 Don't think shedding won't be an issue for you. Depending on the breed, dog hair can be a mild nuisance or a major problem. If you are a neat freak and have no interest in keeping a dustbuster clipped to your belt like a Colt 45, then avoid buying a dog that will shed heavily. For some reason, people who have never lived with dogs that shed are always surprised by how much hair can fall off a dog. Also guys, keep women in mind when it comes to getting a dog that sheds. You might not have a problem with Otto sleeping with you and leaving enough hair to make a Donald Trump toupee on your comforter, but if you're going out on a date and you think there's a chance you'll be bringing the lucky lady back home, change the sheets first and shut your bedroom door. Number 4 Underestimating your schedule is at number 4. Like people, some dogs are loners and some dogs hate to be alone. If you're never home, don't get a dog. If you're not at home a lot, you probably should still not get a dog. If you're somewhere in between or you have a wife or roommate to help you out, but you will still be leaving the dog home alone while you're at work, make sure you research which dogs are okay with the solitude and which dogs will go hooch on your ass if they are home alone every day from 9 to 5. Number 3. Coming in at number 3. thinking you can skip the training you know the saying you can't teach an old dog new tricks well turns out like most old sayings there is a decent amount of truth to it if you want to try and skip all the house training and puppy stuff by rescuing an abandoned or abused 5 year old dog good for you it's a great thing to do just know that these dogs typically take a long time to warm up to their new owners they've grown distrustful of humans and you in case you forgot are human also some of these dogs are time bombs with mental triggers be aware of the signs and if you do rescue an abused dog hire a trainer before you have a canine version of full metal jacket on your hands number 2 Thinking cute lasts forever is mistake number 2. Fellas, forget wingmen or expensive cologne or even a slick convertible. There is nothing on earth that will attract more women to you than a 12-week-old puppy. If you are walking a puppy along a decently trafficked street, the ladies will find you, talk you up, and even flirt with you. If you were walking by yourself, you'd be scenery, but with a puppy at your side, you should have no problem finding some female companionship that very nice. So yes, getting a dog to get chicks will work. Unfortunately, you can't just rent a puppy whenever you want to get laid. So eventually, unless you've got a small dog, that cute little lady trap will become an 80-pound animal that takes 2-pound dumps, eats a pound of food a day, and for a few years needs almost as much maintenance as an actual human toddler. Please keep that in mind. Number 1 Not trying before you buy is blunder number 1. Question: What are three things you should never buy online? Answer: Brides, basketball shoes, and dogs. If you want to browse fine, but if you want to buy, no way. When it comes to dogs, once you've chosen the breed you want or the pound you want to rescue it from, personality is everything. Make no bones about it, you are literally buying your best friend. Spending time with a dog is the smartest way to know if it's a good fit or not. Also, you can get a sense of its demeanor and by how it plays with the rest of the litter. Is it the dog that's riling up the rest of the other puppies trying to sleep? Is it the dog that won't stop nipping at the other dogs? Substitute you trying to sleep and your ankles for the other dogs and you'll get a feel for how this dog will be once you get it home. There's simply no way to learn these things by looking at a dog's cute puppy picture.